Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I thought I'd share all my faith journals. Um, I've only shown a few here. Um, if you would like to catch a thorough a flip through of what I have uh, shown on this channel, please check out my playlist. I have uh, several already there. I don't have everything because I don't really use a lot of what I have on a daily basis. I just thought I'd come on here and kind of show you some ideas. Um, if you have extra journals and sometimes you don't know, um, you know, how to use, like if you have uh, an A5 binder or an extra journal, these are just going to be um, sharing to give you some ideas on how you can use various journals uh, for faith journaling. Now, this by no means, I'm encouraging anyone to go out and buy anything or um, encourage you. I mean, you can actually just use a composition notebook and I have done that. I just want to share what I currently have and the reasons why I have so many. Um, I've gotten questions, you know, periodically of, uh, do I use them all or how do I use them? So I thought I can answer some of those questions. And if I don't um, answer a particular question, please leave it below and I'd be happy to answer it. So what I have here in front of me is my current planner um, slash faith journal. So and you've seen this before, and if you have not, again, I have a playlist, but I consolidated my uh, faith with my planning system. Yeah, it wasn't in October, it was in November. So I tested it out to see, um, and actually it's all in there, I don't know if you can see the tabs. I usually use the book by itself, but today or this month or this last week, I decided to use my D-ringed stone personal size molding. Um, I'm just going to kind of lay them on the side here for December. I did the same and this is an Anami B6 Slim and I have already pretty much everything already set up. It's going to be my, this one I added my Christmas planning and then my planner and then my faith journal. So I already have a video done on this. So if you want to catch that and that's a B6 Slim Nanami. B6 Slim is my size. That's kind of uh, the size, my go-to size. I've used it before several years ago um, as a full planner. But I'm going to kind of show what how kind of I, I started in and then my progression. <laughs> um, because I love stationery. I love different sizes. I love different papers. So I'm going to quickly, I'm not going to go through thoroughly, but I'm going to go through quickly. Um, because if not, this video will be way too long. So what I used for a while was a Hobonichi Weeks. And again, I have a, you know, a, a flip through of this. And I stopped using this, but I have my Devo. And then I did a lot of my devotions, uh, scripture writing back here. And I then I added the B6. I'm going to, it has an acetate here. So... Um, a B6 Stalogy, and I kind of used them together for a long time. And then that's when I consolidated in my current planning system, I consolidated these two systems. So there's a purpose, you know, for each book. And the reason I did that is because I always wanted to use a Hobonichi Weeks. And so I found a reason to use it and I used it as my faith for several years. I just added this uh, B6 Stalogy this year. So I have, you know, soap studies in here, scripture writing, um, list, and uh, um, topical studies, prayer letters. So a lot of, this is my current system, and this is devotions and scripture writing. So that is how I use that. And the reason I use a B6 Stalogy is because I wanted to use the notebook and so I found a purpose for it. For prayer, I use this um, and I don't use this every day. I, I basically pray whatever's on my heart and in my spirits is pray. But every so often I just like to bring it out 
And again, I've done a flip through of this if you want to check it out. This is something that, this is a pocket Moterm uh, ring planner in the pink croc. And so I wanted something to house it. And I, you know, ordered this specifically for my prayer journal. Um, I love the color and I enjoy the size. Sometimes for my prayer, I do like to move into a personal size. And I have this personal compact Franklin Covey. I think it's an Ava. So I have this set up. Um, sometimes it's just the size that I prefer. Sometimes I want to use, um, it could be the cover that I particularly want to use. I really enjoy this cover. And there's sometimes when I want to use my pocket prayer journal. So it all depends on the mood. <laughs> so I don't always use that. You've seen my ring planner. And this is a Franklin Covey compact. I think it's called an easy plan. It's a full leather. Um, but I love it because I can stuff it and it closes so I here, and I've done a flip through of this on my channel, and this just has a lot of, I say, extra. So I have scriptures in here, lists in here, and it's all based on faith. Um, faith is important to me. So I will set up, you know, notebooks. Sometimes I just get bored and I want to create something. I will create a faith journal just because um, it's part of my life. It's part of my day to day. So if I want to use something now, my morning devotion time, it's in my planner. And this is my main, you know, planning uh, my faith system. I use, I do that every day. Um, and again, I'm not going to go through that. Just catch the video. I will link it below. This is extra. So if it's say if it's in the afternoon or in the evening and I just want to do some scripture studies or some devos outside of my regular routine, I would do it in here. Sometimes I want something bigger, <laughs> like an A5. You see, I could fit it in here. A5 is not my favorite size, but sometimes I prefer just to you know, create something in the size. Um, I started this some time ago and it's basically scripture writing. And what I decided to do with this particular one, I'll do a quick flip through because I've not shown this one. See the, gets caught in there a little bit. This I plan to give uh, to one of my grandbabies and it's all scriptures. You know, it's a keepsake. So I have decorated the pages somewhat. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have not finished the book. Um, but this is something that's a keepsake for one of my grandbabies. Just an idea. If you're looking for a reason to use an A5 or even a personal size uh, planner that you can use the dated inserts. Um, all my inserts are mainly undated. This is an Agenda 52 Rose Gold uh, a5 binder and I love the color I love the feel so I have set this one up and you know with post-its this has an in touch devotion even though it's dated July 2020 um, I have not completed this this comes as a bound book I just cut it and hole punched it and then put it in here I don't do devotions by date so I can do, if I have not read it already, I can do this at any time of the year or even a year later. That is, it's really not a big deal for me. Um, what's important is the information that it has. And if I'm in the mood to do a devotion, I can easily pick this up and then do it in here. And this one has the recollection faith pack from uh, Michael's. And again, I have this in a personal size in my Franklin Covey. So you'll see that I have a lot of redundancy, but in different sizes. So I can do a devotion if I want to write more or have a larger 
space real estate this is i will go here and i really haven't used it but it's here and it's set up so this is a topical study you know basically it's a soap study scripture observation application it doesn't have the prayer section but i don't always have to write my prayer or i can just divide it in half and just add my prayer there in the bottom this is just extra notes pages in case i want to do verse mapping uh, write any uh, podcast notes it you know whatever i want to use it for and then i have a folder back here if i need it to add anything so it's already set up and it's on my shelf so if i'm in the mood to use you know this particular cover um it's already set up and i have it available if i want to go out and or if i'm in the mood to work on something more compact i can easily use this um, i've shown this before it's in one of my videos on my playlist and this one is just a bible pocket and a, a little mini composition notebook for me to write notes or I can use, you know, this TN with um, a bunch of mini composition notebooks. And again, if you're interested in a, in a flip through of that, I have that in my playlist. So I can use, and again, it depends on the mood. If I'm in the feeling, you know, I could pull this off my shelf and to go upstairs, my office is downstairs in the basement, but I can easily, take this out or you know take it with me because it has everything I need it has a place for me to journal it has a place for me to scripture write it has a place for me to write my uh you know encouragement um scriptures quotes I have a little journal book in there it also has a little book on fear it has a little book on forgiveness so the way I set up my journals is I'm trying to think if I had this, just this, but in, in back in the day, if I needed to leave and I wanted to take one notebook, everything is in one. Or if I didn't have a lot of time and I was in my van and I knew that I was gonna be waiting for, like sometimes I'm just waiting for my daughter and during piano and I stay in my van, I can take this or I can take this. Again, it all depends on what I'm in the mood for if I want to you know work with strings if I want to work with rings is based on what I'm drawn to for that day I have some other ones here <laughs> I love different notebooks leather covers paper I that I do this as a hobby so um I collect and I'm come to the point where I I've been um just using and rotating what I have versus buying new things. So this is a cover that I've always, that I've loved. It's a traveler's notebook, uh, Camel. My daughter gifted it to me. And so I have an A5 Stalogy here that I cut down standard size. And I here, I'm keeping track of chapter summaries for the bio, you know, for my Bible reading. So I have a summary and then I have a, a, a continues to, you know, and I copy that from uh, one of my Bibles. I have many Bibles. And so I just write chapter summaries and I got this from, and I can't remember right now, but it's off the internet, but it has like a summary for every chapter of the Bible. And so I write it um, and then, you know, after I read my chapter, and then, so I wanna collect this with everything that I read. So I will, if it takes me two years, three years, that's okay. But that's what I'll be using this particular um, notebook for. Now, why did I cut this A5 Stalogy to standard size? Because I wanted to use this cover. Um, and, you know, sometimes I will use things according to what I wanna use. This next one here is a Carpe DM, uh, extra wide. I'm not sure what, what they call it, but it's a TN I took off the 
the side elastic because I like to use it as a folio. And I bought this for $8 when they were on sale in, the, in I think spring and summertime. And it goes on every spring. So next spring, catch Carpe Diem, their website. And it had the same sale as last year. So I would check again next year. Um, but this is really cute. I just, I really don't decorate here, but I <laughs> laminated that. My daughter, actually my daughter laminated for me and she laminated stickers for me just to keep a little design there. Um, and she put these little gems trying to mimic a butterfly for me. So how I use this one, and this is a moleskin. I wanted to use this notebook. Um, so I found a reason to do it. I cut, I think, I believe I cut it down. I did. I cut this down and it's a regular moleskin. It's not an expanded because I also have an expanded for something else and I don't use it as a faith, but um, so I decorated it. I got, you know, creative one night. And so I put stickers according to how I wanted the front cover designed. And I've never shown this in this channel, so I'll do a quick flip because I haven't finished or um, used it much. So let faith be bigger than your fear. And this is a Bible study. It's a 28 day Bible study through the book of Matthew. So this is the first one. And so, I don't know, I just took out my markers. This is not how I typically document my studies, but every so often I'll, and it doesn't happen often, but I'll get very kind of like, I wanna create. And for me, this is, <laughs> this is out of my comfort zone. Um, but I used it for that. And this is the only thing that I'll be using it for. Um, and that's okay. So that's one study. This is another Carpe Diem cover that, um, again, I use as a folio. These I've had for years. And actually I had this in my standard traveler's notebook. So I moved it in here. And these are letters to God. This is like scripture writing. And this one, hold down here, book notes and podcast. And this one is just a journal. And again, this is some more in touch devotions. I cut it down a little bit so it won't, it just had a little overhang. And so I just trimmed it down a little bit with my paper cutter. And my daughter made me that. And again, um, I just put a couple in here. So I have, you know, a variety of devos. So if I'm in the mood to use this, then I just take it out and use it. The important thing for me, it doesn't matter if I'm using more than one notebook. You know, if my stuff is scattered, I know some people say, you know, you know, your stuff is over here and over there, it, but it doesn't matter to me because I am spending time in the Lord. I am spending time in the book and the journal that I want to for the time being. I keep on rotating, so eventually they're gonna get full. And I am enjoying the variety because I get bored if I'm just in one book for too long. That is just my personality. Um, so it's the same thing with journaling. If I, I have multiple journals and I have multiple sizes, you know, I date things. So to me, it doesn't matter if it's in five, 10 different journals or, you know, notebooks, as long as I date my stuff, you know, I know where everything's at. And these are books are for me. So the day that I pass, they will go to my children. And so I will have so many, so there will be enough for everyone. <laughs> that's, that's how I kind of look at it. So again, I, wanted to share what and why I use so many. Um, I, and, I, and I enjoy having a lot of notebooks. If you don't, and that just, you know, not your personality, that's perfectly fine. Um, stick to one notebook or two. I was just trying to encourage those that have multiple notebooks and don't know, you know, what to use it for. Um, sometimes I'll just sit back and I, if I'm in a creative mood, I'll just, bring up another, I mean, I have many journals, I covers, I buy them when they're on sale. Um, and so I collect. So these I got for $8, you know, 
um, and they're nice. So I purchased a variety of these. Um, I have various ring, personal ring planners from Michaels. So if I get bored of one, I change it out. Lately, I've been just liking my Franklin Covey um, for my faith, my easy plan. Um, which one is that one? I've been enjoying this one, so I've been keeping it in here. I really love the chunkiness. There are times when I don't want it as chunky, and so I will move out of this and then find a thinner one. Just bring a couple here. So that's all I have. Um, again, I'm drawn by the size, by the paper, by the cover, by the portability, and then the purpose. So again, each notebook is set up for a purpose, it is set up to encourage me. Um, you know, some days I'm just feeling a little where I need more encouragement, more scripture. Um, then I will get those books out that are more scripture focused. If I just want to journal, then I'll get something that's more journal based. If I want to pray, then, you know, I have, I can easily open up one and do some prayers. If I want to, you know, quotes and encouragement, I know where to go to find all that. And it's all set up. I don't have to stop and say, oh my goodness, I'm going through something, you know, and I pray and I need something to encourage me in the Lord and the word of God. So that's how I set things up. They're kind of my swords to use for battle when I need it. So hopefully um, this has encouraged you in some way. Um, hopefully this video wasn't all over the place. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, let me know below and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe so you can get future notifications of any videos um, that are upcoming. And until next time.